Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Flora indoor wall sconce. This is going to be the version where the glass is more near the bottom of the fixture. There's another one that where the glass is near the top of the fixture, also a flora. So this one is the 23035. That one is the 23030. You should check that one out. Watch the video on it, which is really important because I'll, I'll actually have that fixture on the table, and I go over a few things we'll talk about today. Okay, let's get into it. So this is going to be available in a couple different pieces of glass, but we'll get to that a little later. What we'll talk about now is the height of the fixture and the width of the fixture and the projection and all those little details. So 17.5 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the top of the fixture. The width on it, it's listed at 3.8, but in reality, this is going to be set up for a couple different ways. So depending on what you guys have going on on your wall, this is a four inch junction box. And the other option you might have is a uh, gang box. Gang box is a rectangular box. And you want to check with your installer about which one of these, either you're going to be installing a new construction or a renovation or what you have already. It's going to kind of dictate how this is going to look. If you're using one of these, which is a 4-inch J-Box, this is going to automatically come with a cover that's going to go over the back of this and allow you to use it on a box like this. If you have a gang box, which is the rectangular one, I don't happen to have it here, but that one's thinner, you don't have to use this. It, you can just use, use it without that, and it basically gives you a, a more slimline look. So something to talk about with your guy um, or girl. So one of those people. Anyway, so that's pretty important. Um, and then projection is 5.7 coming out. And then when they talk about the back plate, 17.5 inches overall height and 2.5 inches, they're really talking about when you're not using this and you're not using this and you're using that gang box. So again, talk to your installer. Very, very important about that. Okay, um, and then mounting height on the bottom of the fixture where those wires come out to the middle of the junction box is going to be coming in at six inches. So you're going to have um, a couple things to look at. So this is a parts bag, and it's going to have your installation's instructions inside of it. And it's, it's helpful to have this kind of handy when we're talking about all this stuff. So you can see this now. This is going to be in here, but like I said, we can look at it now. If you go on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So open that up for me. So <clears throat> it's going to show you these same papers. And it's going to show you a parts list. It's going to show you really good line drawings like that of the fixture and how you use it on your gang box. And it'll show you some good drawings of the back of the fixture, too, and what it looks like. So very important to do and see all of that. Uh, it's also going to have this piece in it, and this is just a bracket that goes over and keeps it onto the J-Box, just so you know, as, as well as some other parts, including this, which we'll get into in just a little bit. Okay, let's talk about a few other things. 4.8 pounds, not a big deal. It's going to be using or available in two different options for glass. You have a pull-down menu that says choose your glass. So you're going to have opal glass, which I'll talk more about in detail later on, Opal is a, an opaque white glass. <clears throat> it's also going to have this combo. And this combo is seated clear on the outside and then opal on the inside. This acts as a diffuser to hide your socket. But it looks pretty nice inside here. A lot of people choose this option. They just happen to love that seated glass with the little air bubbles in it. It's clear too. So that's that. Mm -hmm. And then what goes into this and how much light you can get out of it, very important, because you may be using these in all kinds of different situations. You might be using them in a bathroom where you want to get the max light out to, to light the room and then light your, you so you can look at yourself in the mirror, basically. But you might be using these in a dining room or a hallway, a stairway, and you also want to get a lot of light out of them. It really depends on what your mood is and what you're kind of trying to accomplish. So it's going to be using what's called a um, G9 socket. G9 sockets use G9 bulbs, and they have little prongs in the bottom. And they just push right in like that, like so. Uh, if you want to stick with a halogen like this guy, you can go up to 60 watts. So you can still use incandescent halogens. Just 60 watts is going to be your limit. And um, I don't think you should because there's so many great bulbs out there. This is a phosphorus LED, and this would be okay too. And I picked this up probably online. But the ones I like to use, and I talk about a lot, and I talk more in detail in that other video, is these guys. These are cob LEDs, and cob LEDs throw amazing amounts of light. So this is a 75 watt equivalent, I think, maybe, or 60 or 75 watt equivalent. I know this is a 100 watt equivalent, because I use this all over my showroom, and I buy them all the time. So 100 watt equivalent, if you've got two of these using them in a bathroom or any other place, is a ton of light. This is a dimmable bulb, so I can dim that down if need be. 
but either way it's it's pretty pretty awesome so this light's going to be available all of these bulbs are available online <clears throat> like an amazon or a thousand and one bulbs or justbulbs.com they're also you're going to find some of these in places like home depot and lowe's true value hardware um, ace hardware those kind of places too I, I generally buy them on Amazon. They have a very good selection and it's easy to navigate. So when I'm buying this, I'm going to buy it in the color temperature that I want. But there's going to be other ones out there that you may want to look at. So they're going to offer these to you in 2700 Kelvin. That's super yellow, like a setting sun. They're also going to offer these to you in something called daylight, which sounds like it should be warm, like sunlight, but it's not. That's that bluish white light, like an overcast day or a hospital waiting room idea. But we like to use in our showroom all the time and the light coming down on this desk right now is warm white soft white and that's 3000 kelvin so that's what we go looking for when we're looking for bulbs so i my take on this would probably be doing you know i might even just jump up and do a 75 watt to a 100 watt equivalent led a cob led like this and do a 100 watt equivalent like i said or 75 and get a dimmable version of it in 3000 kelvin and i think you'd be good to go Let's touch base really quick on what this is. This is going to be in your parts bag when you get this, and people often don't know what it's for, but it talks about it in the installation's instructions. This is going to be a retaining ring tool. You'll get one of these per fixture, and it basically takes the place of your hand, which is way too big to get inside this glass and put on the retaining ring. So you're going to take your retaining ring, and you're going to basically put it uh, let's see, flat side up, because you notice there's a little ridge on it on that side right there. Uh, and there's also little indentations top and bottom. So you want to line it up. There's the same kind of indentations in here. You're going to put flat side up, line these guys up, and you want to get it in there so it's kind of sitting inside. And then, you're, well, what I like to do basically, I have a little trick. So I will put the bulb in the socket, and then I will take my glass. Let's take the harder one first. So we'll take this one. And I'll just lower it on top, and then I'll take the other glass, lower it on top of that. Then I take the whole thing, and I'm kind of pushing on the glass a little bit, and I take it upside down because I don't want that retaining ring to fall out. And I lower it over the socket, and then you basically just turn it to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and that's going to uh, get that retaining ring down on that socket. Once it becomes snug, that's where you leave it. You don't force it on. You don't want to break your glass. And then when you take this out, the retaining ring will be gone. The glass will be on your fixture, and you're all set. I want to touch base on Hubbardton Forge's opal glass for just a second. So all of Hubbardton Forge's glass to begin with is going to be hand blown. This piece is hand blown first and clear. Then they're going to come in and they're going to blow another layer of white glass on the inside of this. The third step is they're going to take and they're going to sandblast the whole thing on the inside and the outside. That's going to give you this beautiful, mellow, translucent, milky piece of glass. When you look at this and you can see the layers are actually piled up on the inside of this. Hubbardton Forge is very obsessed about details on all of their pieces, including their glass. And that's why you're here, because you're probably just as obsessed about little details as well. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the HandmadeInVermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a Finishes Help Guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. 
Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay. That's it, rush program, let's talk about that. So rush program, Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks. It's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.